we have Renee Paquette, young, good Moxley, backstage with Sammy Guevara. Moxley, good. MJF comes in, um, says he watched the show last week. Uh, Poor back. He is, you know, the stuff about Sammy or MJF getting in the car alone. I wrote in my notes, the uh, this shit is dumb. Honestly, I just wrote this shit is dumb. And so, oh, oh dude, it, yeah, it, I, to be that broken record, this is WWE, bro. This is fucking, you know, just like, ah, oh, gotta, ah, oh, that no good MJF, ah, oh, swindling Sammy, ah, oh, it's, 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 it's just too dumb because they've done this already. So it's just like, okay. Uh, it's more of this because it's, it's like, what are you gonna me. have Alexa Bliss be spooky next? Like, it's just I don't. I'm just okay, over it. It's just shit. You're yeah, over, dude. It's like, yeah. Um. Anyways. Well, okay. I'm sorry, but I'm enjoying this one. Nice. Right. Right. I'm- again. Again. If you were here with us like six months ago, you'd be like, "What the fuck?" You know. <laughs> AEW World Champion MJF approaches Jack Perry behind closed doors. So Darby kind of leaves the room. And then yeah, M- MJF <laughs> sneaks in on Jack Perry. So I went from being really bored to really intrigued and excited. And MJF is like, yo, you're twice the wrestler. Fucking Guevara is. Think of what I could do for you. Blah, blah, blah. Perry's like, fuck you. Darby comes in. He's like, oh, can I trust you? <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, dude. Fucking Jack was all like, listen, bro, unless you're Luchasaurus, get the fuck out of here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't give this shit time to breathe, which really bugs <laughs> me. But And then Darby came back in there and was all like, hey, man, I got the voice package. Can we do the voice package deal now? And he was like, no, nah, bro, I don't let him fuck with <laughs> <laughs> It just bugs me that fucking they don't like this is like weeks of storytelling. They just quickly stuff into things. But um, well, they're yeah, trying. Man, they're trying. And this is very sports entertainment. Sorry. Go ahead. He doesn't let anything breathe. bro. That's what I, I mean. Don't... Everything feels rush and jam packed. Bro, and, what you, gonna... and, and can I touch on earlier? You said something about the entrances and, and, and it's just a mental thought I had today. I was, go- I was out on a long walk today. I usually try and walk or run for about an hour a day. And I, uh, and I'm out there and I'm fucking, and I'm fucking thinking to myself, like, man, you know, AEW, they don't do, you can tell they cut things out so they can try and stuff in the extra, like what, five minutes worth of spots in a match. I just, it's like, use some psychology and just tell a good story. Like, uh, fucking, I don't know. Yeah, I just, I don't understand how, like, fucking a QT Marshall entrance is more important than fucking an extra five minutes to this Jay White match, you know? Fucking, ugh. Yeah, so. Shout out to Eric Bischoff, dog. (laughs) (laughs) Shout out to Eric Bischoff, baby. So we get into the four pillars match, the four pillars tag team match. Just some little notes I had here. I'll go through it. Then I'll let you give your take on this match here. So the crowd didn't really pop for Darby as as hard as they usually do. I feel like Sammy is just like, who cares? Who gives a fuck? MJF is obviously over. I literally put no notes for Jungle Boy. Uh, (laughs) uh, The heels did classic heel stuff throughout. Uh, MJF reversed uh, Darby's code red into that sit out power bomb. That was like a little later in the match. That was a great spot. MJF yeah. does one thing every match. That's very simple, but you're like, Ooh, like you remember it. Like you go in, you go, remember when he did that last time? Like I can remember like the match before he did the fucking backflip with Takeshita went for the lariat off the second rope and he backflipped. And he fucking just landed on his feet like ricochet style. Like, you know, MJF, he does one little thing. He does the power bomb into the knee. Like every match, he does these little spots that you go, oh, that was unique, but simple, you know? Um, it was by all means like a great match, but it also, this is what I wanted to ask you. It's like, does this feel like your main event title picture for a major American wrestling promotion to you? Like besides MJF, maybe? And not no. to be like that guy, but does this feel like your world title picture? Like, what the fuck? Where's like, it should be like Mox, Punk, Danielson, and fucking Kenny. If you're going to have four guys going at it and talking about pillars, like, what the fuck are we talking about? Like, no one cares about well, Jungle Boy. It should be CM Punk, but the goddamn Young Bucks ruined it for everyone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just really don't know how I how I feel about all this, man. But I want your uh, um, I want your thoughts on the match. I feel like the finish was good too, but ultimately this whole buildup for a four way has just seen that, Sammy be you like Sammy's just been made to look stupid and lose. 
So it's like, okay. But, okay. I don't know, man. Like, Darby and Jack, like... <sighs> Okay, everyone in this match are excellent fucking wrestlers. It's right. just besides, like, okay, it's just lacking star power. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, like, just depend on MJF and Sammy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have to be invested into the baby faces a little. You know? Exactly. And, like, it's just. I, and I, what is there to like about the baby faces? Like, what What nothing. do you. Fucking Dar- Darby's just fucking being a passive aggressive fuck all upset the whole time because his I know. mom. Will- Take him to Hot Topic to pick up the Cure album. <laughs> Burn and down, Flint. down the Hot Topic. <laughs> I know. Yeah, man. And fucking Jungle Boy's just hanging out here wishing he was fucking hanging out with fucking Luchasaurus. So, like, bro. I'm Jungle just Boy like, just man. seems so fucking disinterested. And after that story that came yeah. out, people, people are like, Jim Cornette's blowing it out of proportion. But there's a story that came out where Jungle Boy's at a convention in the UK. And he's giving all these half-assed answers and he's like being a dick to fans. And he's saying like things like, um, if you, if you had one match left, if you were about to die tomorrow, you had one match to watch, what would you watch? And he's like, I wouldn't watch wrestling. That sounds lame. And people were like, Oh, he's just cracking jokes. And he was actually lighthearted. And either way though, it just seems like he's disinterested. And I don't know, maybe that uh, at that event, it was subjective, but no, he's the joke. God, he did say that. Now, do you think he was joking when he said he doesn't listen to guys like Billy Gunn and he listens to Luchasaurus? Absolutely not, dude. He isn't he friends with the Young Bucks? Isn't that why he? Yeah, here? they're like they're Cali boys. I feel like they're all Cali boys, right? California needs to sink into the fucking ocean. That's all. I- <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 